What is up guys, it is Ekploche, and recently I got a new Dell XPS laptop, and after a couple months uh, of using it, I found there were two s settings that are in the BIOS that were actually killing my battery, causing my computer to overheat, and probably also killing my components. So, I'm going to show you those two settings. I'm going to have to switch to my phone, camera, and also microphone in order to show you because these are in BIOS, just by default they're on. So let's go ahead and fix those. All right, so as you can see, I'm on my Dell XPS laptop right now, and I'm going to show you how to get to BIOS. So we're going to go to, we're just gonna restart the laptop. And once it restarts, there's going to be a little prompt where you need to press the F2 button. Right, so you press the F2 basically right when it starts. And now we're in the BIOS menu. Uh, I'm going to bring it a little closer just so you can see a bit better. So at this point, you're, if you have a Bluetooth mouse, it's basically useless, so I am using the touchpad. Uh, so these settings that were causing some issues, if we look on this BIOS setup side on the left, the first one was under power. So there's two main ones, and then the rest are pretty much up to you whether you want to use them. So the first thing is battery configuration. When enabled, this functionality allows the system to run battery during peak power usage hours. Uh, use the table below to prevent AC power usage between certain times of each day. So uh, this is kind of a problem because ideally if you're primarily using your laptop plugged in like I am, or I mean pretty much in general if it's plugged in and, and you're wanting it to charge, uh, it's actually better for your computer from a heat perspective and definitely your battery uh, when you're not actually continuing to use your battery while it's plugged in. Now for some reason, by default, it's actually set on this adaptive uh, setting. So yeah, battery settings are optimized based on your typical usage pattern. Uh, what you want, most likely, is primarily AC use. So the battery lifespan for users who primarily operate their system while plugged into an external power source. So this is actually the one you want because otherwise you're still using your battery even though it's already plugged in, which is a problem. Now. Since the Dell XPS is a laptop, there's one more setting that we found in my uh, underneath performance. So here's the side menu, little performance guy. Click here, all right, da, 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 chop. All right, so here, not multi-core support, not enable speed technology. If we click here, just kind of tap on this guy. So this Intel Turbo Boost technology uh, was on by default, even or it, it was one of these. So it's either the Turbo Boost Maximum or Turbo Boost. Now, uh, these are great for desktop, and I think it actually tells you. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So this option enables or disables the Intel Turbo Boost. Disable does not allow Turbo Boost driver to increase the performance of the blah 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 uh, performance when enabled. Uh, processor core from higher frequency. Uh, okay, so uh, at some point I looked this up and it said that it was these are settings better to use on desktop, um, not laptop, because laptops, uh, what, what it was doing is, is it was causing one of my uh, CPUs to run extremely high. It was like uh, number three or something. Um, which I use using another tool. But either way, uh, make sure that these are off because this will cause your computer to overheat. And as soon as I turned off these, uh, the battery or the feeling of my laptop like up here, it was literally at like 100 degrees if I was gaming and then like pretty abnormally high if I wasn't. Um, like just using some intensive uh, software. So uh, yeah, those are the two settings to turn off. Also, once you turn those off, be sure to click Apply Changes. Now, of course, I didn't apply any, but make sure once you switch everything off, you just click Apply Changes, and then you're able to exit easily. Bloop. And now your computer should boot normally. So turning off those two settings on your BIOS should be enough to stop overheating your computer and make it even run cooler while your computer is plugged in. This should be the best way to preserve battery life and uh, if you want to see the tool that I was using to check my core temp uh, temperatures, I will show you that right now. So what it was is I'm going to open up this here. It was an app called, let's see, B8, no, it was HW. Yeah, so uh, HWIN 
yeah, hwinfo64. You open this up, click yes, just start, and somewhere over here, you should be able to see the core temperatures of each one of your uh, processors. So I have a 14 core, so 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 13. You can see each individual one, and uh, I shouldn't have made that full screen. It actually can just be small. And um, yeah, now you can see every all of your the temperature of each one of your stats right here. And that is how I figured that out, because these were uh, the average um, for one of these. I forget which one it was, but it was running at 100 degrees Celsius, which is literally boiling, and I could feel it on my computer. So that was a problem. So hopefully that was useful to you if you have a Dell XPS or any kind of laptop that might be using the Dell whatever software or whatever they have on your computer, uh, especially the BIOS. So, yep, that saved my battery and my computer from overheating. I hope it works for you. If not, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to troubleshoot anything, well, anything that I think I can. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and bye for now. Boop!